Today, we're diving into the world of metal welding fumes, exploring factors that increase exposure, the composition of these fumes, and their potential health effects. By the end of this video, you'll have tips and guidance on minimizing exposure to welding fumes, no matter what industry you're in, keeping you safe and healthy. Welding fumes are a cocktail of metals, metallic oxides, silicates, and fluorides, formed when metal vapors condense into very fine, solid particles. Let's take a closer look at how these fumes are generated. The composition of welding fumes varies depending on the type of welding process, such as arc welding, MIG, TIG, or stick welding. The base metal, filler metals, and welding rod composition all influence the fume generation rate and composition. The type of coatings or residues present on the metal surfaces, such as rust inhibitors, paint, primer, or residual solvents, can also contribute to the welding fume mixture. The work practices of the welder, such as removing coatings, cleaning surfaces, and properly positioning to avoid breathing fumes and gases, can also significantly impact the welder's exposure to welding fumes. To help you better understand the various factors that influence the composition of welding fumes, let's explore some common examples. Fluxes that contain silica or fluoride produce amorphous silica, metallic silicates, and fluorite fumes. Mild steel fumes contain mostly iron with small amounts of additive metals, such as manganese and silicon. Stainless steels can have larger amounts of chromium, including hexavalent chromium, nickel, and lesser amounts of iron in the fume. Different metal fumes have varying health risks. We will explore some of the common metal fume types, primary sources of emission, as well as some of the common health risks these metal fumes are responsible for. Chromium is emitted from stainless steel, high alloy materials, and welding rods. It is also used as a plating material. Chromium converts to hexavalent chromium during welding. Exposure increases lung cancer risk. Some individuals may develop skin irritation or allergies. Long-term exposure may cause lung and kidney damage. Iron is found in all iron or steel welding processes. It causes siderosis, or iron particle deposits in the lungs, and irritation of the nose and lungs. This could lead to an increased risk of lung infections. Manganese is emitted from most welding processes, especially high tensile steels. It causes metal fume fever, which is a flu-like illness with symptoms such as fever, chills, and muscle aches. Long-term exposure can result in central nervous system problems, such as Parkinson's-like symptoms. Nickel is present in stainless steel and other high alloy materials, welding rods, and plated steel. It is known to irritate the eyes, nose, and throat. Nickel also increases cancer risk. It is also associated with dermatitis and lung problems. Lead is found in solder, brass, and bronze alloys. It is also used as a primer or coating on steel. Lead exposure affects the nervous system, kidneys, digestive system, and mental capacity. It can also cause lead poisoning. Exposure to welding fumes can lead to severe health consequences, and in many cases, result in legal action against responsible parties. Here are some notable examples of lawsuits where the plaintiffs were awarded compensation due to welding fume exposure. Tamraz vs. Lincoln Electric, Hobart Brothers, and Esop Group, 2015. In this case, Jeff Tamraz claimed that exposure to manganese in welding fumes led to him developing manganism, a Parkinson's-like disease. The jury awarded Tamraz $20.5 million. This case highlights the potential severity of manganese exposure and the legal consequences that can arise from inadequate safety precautions. Doe Run Resources Corporation Settlement, 2011. Doe Run Resources Corporation agreed to pay $55 million to settle a series of lawsuits filed by over 150 families living near the company's lead smelter in Herculaneum. The plaintiffs claimed that the smelter's emissions, which included lead and other toxic metals, caused a range of health problems and lowered property values. The settlement included monetary compensation for the plaintiffs and funding for property cleanup. Anderson, et al. versus Pacific Gas and Electric, 1996, Though not directly related to welding fumes, this case involved the hazardous substance hexavalent chromium, which can be present in stainless steel welding fumes. More than 600 plaintiffs claimed that Pacific Gas and Electric's use of hexavalent chromium in cooling towers led to groundwater contamination and subsequent health issues. In 1996, the plaintiffs were awarded a combined settlement of $333 million. These cases demonstrate the potential consequences of exposure to toxic metal fumes, emphasizing the importance of proper safety measures and the use of effective fume extraction systems. 
employers and companies can face substantial legal and financial repercussions if they fail to protect workers and the surrounding communities from hazardous fumes. Implementing effective welding fume extraction solutions is crucial for maintaining a safe and healthy work environment. A wide range of products designed to minimize exposure to hazardous fumes are available today. Let's explore some of their solutions in more detail. 1. Source Extraction Systems These systems capture welding fumes directly at the source, reducing exposure to harmful particles. Examples include extraction arms, and on-torch extraction systems. By removing fumes before they enter the welder's breathing zone, source extraction systems offer efficient and effective protection. 2. Mobile and Stationary Filter Units These units are designed to accommodate different workspace sizes and requirements, ensuring clean air throughout the workshop. Mobile filter units can be easily moved between workstations, while stationary units can be permanently installed for specific work areas. Both options use high-efficiency filters to capture and remove welding fumes from the air. 3. Filter cartridges High-efficiency filter cartridges are designed to capture and filter harmful fumes. These cartridges can be easily replaced to ensure optimal fume extraction performance. Filters may include HEPA, activated carbon, or other specialized filter media to address specific fume types and contaminants. 4. Downdraft Tables These tables collect fumes and dust particles during grinding and welding operations by drawing air downward through a perforated work surface. Downdraft tables help protect workers from inhaling harmful fumes and particles while providing a clean, well-lit workspace. Now that you're equipped with knowledge of welding fumes and their potential hazards, you can make informed decisions to protect yourself and others in the workplace. Stay safe and happy welding!